Capital ships have always been at the heart of the Royal Navy's strike capability, but never like this. At 65,000 tons, the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carrier will be the biggest and most powerful surface warship ever constructed for the UK. It represents a major change in joint capability and provides the UK with a strategic presence around the world. With a flight deck covering four acres and an air wing of up to 40 aircraft, it will provide the opportunity to deliver formidable strike power at a time and place of our choosing. And not just one carrier, but two. HM ships Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales. They follow a long naval tradition by bearing the names of capital ships from previous generations. In their primary role, these ships will carry a joint force air group made up predominantly of the potent joint combat aircraft, the F-35B Lightning II, providing worldwide force projection. Both ships will be delivered by the Aircraft Carrier Alliance, a unique venture in which the Ministry of Defence is in partnership with UK industry as well as being the customer. This commercial construct known as alliancing ensures that decisions are made quickly and at the appropriate level for the benefit of the project as a whole. The alliance is made up of BVT Surface Fleet, Talis Naval Limited, Babcock Marine, BAE Systems and the Ministry of Defence. With two separate islands instead of one large island, the design of these ships is highly innovative, creating more deck space both for aircraft and lift operations. Each island will provide improved visibility from both the flying control position in the aft island and from the bridge in the forward island. This important design feature permits the separation and duplication for vital elements of the carrier's capabilities, such as sensors, communications equipment, and engine uptakes exhaust stacks and downtakes, clean air intake. In fact, the Queen Elizabeth class ships will set new standards of excellence in virtually every field of carrier capabilities. These include landing aids, air traffic control and state-of-the-art radar. There's also a new design for highly mechanized weapons handling greatly increased capability as compared with current carriers. This new mechanized system will be safer and more efficient than any previous system and will require 75% fewer people to operate it. The large aircraft hangar, equal to the size of 12 Olympic swimming pools, will be capable of housing a wide variety of combat aircraft and large lifts will provide additional hangar manoeuvring space.
As well as the joint combat aircraft, there will also be a variety of helicopters for use in rescue missions and humanitarian operations. HM ships Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales will also be home to a community of up to 1,500 men and women. Therefore, crew welfare is of the utmost importance, and the new ships can boast greatly improved crew accommodation, including six berth cabins with adjacent toilet and shower facilities, 11 full-time medical staff managing an eight berth medical suite, including operating theatre and dental surgery, all of which can be augmented to aid humanitarian efforts. There will be four galleys on board, serving four large dining areas manned by 67 catering staff to enable the entire crew to be served in 90 minutes, 45 when at action stations. The versatility of the new carriers extends not just to the different types of aircraft they can operate, but to the tasks that the ships can fulfil, adding enormously to the UK Armed Forces expeditionary capability. The ships can be quickly adapted to perform the amphibious warfare role currently undertaken by HMS Ocean. The ships will be able to operate in an integrated task group for peace support, humanitarian operations and, if necessary, military action, particularly when airfields and offshore facilities are not yet established. Another innovation, especially for such large warships, is the method of construction called block integration. Since ships of this unprecedented size are too large to build in one UK shipyard, they are being built in separate blocks and then assembled. The large blocks are being built at BVT Surface Fleet Govan, Glasgow, Babcock Marine, Appledore, BVT Surface Fleet Portsmouth, Central Blocks at Camel Laird, Liverpool, A&P Tyne, Tyne and Weir, and the Sponsons at Babcock Marine, Rosyth. In addition, suppliers from across the UK are involved in the project. In total, work for the new carriers secures more than 10,000 jobs across the UK from suppliers alone. HM ships Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales will be based in the Navy's main home port, Portsmouth. From their Portsmouth base, the ships will be deployed wherever in the world it is necessary to confront a threat to the security of Britain or our allies. However, the Queen Elizabeth class will not be expected to be deployed on their own, but as the flagship of a carrier strike group, which may include destroyers, frigates and submarines, and other support vessels. A formidable presence and statement of British sovereignty. The next generation of the Royal Navy's aircraft carriers is only a few years away. HM ships Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales represent a unique history in the making bringing together the combined efforts of industry across our nation and will provide us with unprecedented joint capability to meet the challenges of the 21st century. In 2009, the Royal Navy celebrates 100 years in naval aviation. The new Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers continue this proud tradition, looking ahead to a new future for the Royal Navy and state-of-the-art naval aviation. <laughs>